Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl V Queen here and I'm back with you another week, another video on quick tips. Before we get into this video, first I want to apologize if you hear any knocking or noises like that in the background. You're going on with some construction somewhere in the area and it's beyond my control but the video must go on. In today's video, I'll be showing you 4 keyboard shortcuts which would allow you to navigate around windows much faster. But as per usual, before we get into this video, be sure to like the video if you love the content and share it to others, share it to your friends man. Also don't forget to subscribe if you're new and remember that I love your comments, I love the feedback. Drop a comment down below letting me know what you think about the video. Also note that the instrumentals for this video have been provided by Inner Sanctum Entertainment LTD. Now let's get right into it. Shortcut number one, the windows key plus the number keys. Pressing the windows key with one of the numbers, one through zero will open an item on your taskbar with that corresponding number or position. So pressing windows plus one would open the first item on your taskbar and you can probably guess that windows plus zero will open the 10th item on your taskbar. This keystroke will also switch to that window if it is already open. This is a useful shortcut to be able to navigate to your applications faster, especially if they are pinned to the taskbar. So for instance, let me first go to my taskbar. So windows plus D. Folder view list. Google Chrome 6 of now let me press tab until i get to the running application section start button type here talk to task view, running applications toolbar microsoft edge button okay so as you can see microsoft edge would be the first item that i have on the taskbar now if i use my right arrow i can go through this list so the next item i hear would be my second item file explorer button microsoft store button mail button google chrome button Notice that the first few items are those that are pinned to the taskbar. Virtual recorder dash one running window button sub menu. The ones that say running windows are those that you currently have open. And after the last item in the list, if you press your right arrow again, it will bring you right back to the first item in the list. Microsoft Edge button. Now, let's try out the shortcut. I currently have Google Chrome pinned to the taskbar. And if you were counting while I was going through a while ago, you would have heard that it is the fifth item. Let me go to my desktop just to demonstrate how this works. Folder view list. Now, if I should press Windows plus 5, it should open Google Chrome. Taskbar, toolbar, address and search bar edit has auto complete control plus L address and search bar. There we go, it works. Now, let me type something in like Facebook, for instance. F A C E B O O K. Facebook selected. Document busy blank. Facebook. Clickable banner landmark visited link. And let me go back to my desktop. Folder view list. Google. Now, because I currently already have a Google Chrome window open, if I press my Windows plus 5 again. Left paren. 20 plus right paren. Facebook dash Google Chrome dash the. There we go, it opens back the Chrome window which I type Facebook in. Now let me show you how you can use this to navigate to your most used apps faster. What you can do is to actually pin your favorite apps or the apps that you use the most onto your taskbar. Then you will take note of their position on the taskbar and use the appropriate number with the Windows key to be able to open them faster. But what if you don't know how to pin something to the taskbar? Well. Let me show you how it's done. Let me go to my desktop and press Z to jump to the zoom icon for example. Folder view list. Google Chrome. Z. Zoom 13 of 27. Once you're selected on the item that you want to pin to the taskbar, press your applications key or shift plus F10 for those who don't have one. Context menu. Then down arrow to pin to taskbar and press enter. Open up, send, backup, moved, open, add to, add to, compre, compre, run as, share with, trouble, pin to start, skin, nord, pin to task, bar K, folder view list, zoom 13 of 27. Now, let me go back to my taskbar to show you that it is now pinned to it. Start button, type here to, talk to core, talk, task view button, running applications toolbar, Microsoft edge button. Let me press my right arrow to go through the list. File explorer button, Microsoft store, mail button. Google Chrome dash one running window button sub virtual recorder dash one running zoom button. Note that if you have another window running while you pin an application, the application that you pinned will appear after the running windows. 
So let me close my recorder and Google Chrome that I currently have open and come back to the taskbar to show you that Zoom is now shifted to the sixth position after Chrome. Folder view list. Start button. Type here. Talk to. Task view. Running applications toolbar. Microsoft Edge button. File. Microsoft Mail button. Google Chrome button. Zoom button. And there we go. Zoom has been added. Now it is my sixth item in the list. Also, let me show you how to remove an item from the taskbar. Let me use my left arrow to go back to mail for example. Google Chrome mail button. Once on the application that you want to unpin from the taskbar, press your application key or shift plus F10. Jump list for mail window. List. Mail one of two. Then down arrow until you get to unpin from taskbar and press enter. Unpin from taskbar two of two. You will notice that it does not exit you from that menu. But if you're supposed to go away from the taskbar and come back. So let me go to my desktop. Folder view list. Then go back to my taskbar. Start button. Type here to talk to Cortana button. Task view button. Running applications toolbar. Microsoft Edge button. Now let me go through the list of items. File explorer button. Microsoft store button. Google Chrome button. And there we go. Mail has been removed. Please note that now my Google Chrome will shift into fourth position and therefore zoom will then shift into the fifth position as well one thing i must note before we get to the next keystroke i have not yet found a way to rearrange the items on the taskbar so the best method to be able to do that is by unpinning everything on the taskbar and starting afresh by pinning the applications that you want to be on the taskbar in the order that you want them to be in now let's get to the next shortcut shortcut number two shift plus the windows key plus the number keys this shortcut will open a new instance of a window now to demonstrate this let me open chrome taskbar toolbar address and search bar edit has auto and let me type in youtube y o u t u b e new banner landmark clickable button guide visited link youtube home now let me go to my desktop folder view list Google Chrome 6 of 27. Remember that Google Chrome is now the fourth item on my taskbar. So remember that the keystroke shift plus windows plus the number key will open a new instance of the window. So that means it will open a brand new Chrome window. So I currently have a Google Chrome window running with YouTube in it. But if I was supposed to press shift plus windows plus four. Taskbar, new tab dash Google Chrome dash the toolbar address and search bar edit has auto complete control plus l address and search bar and there we go it now opens up a blank google chrome window instead of the one that i had with youtube in it now on to the next shortcut shortcut number three control plus the windows key plus the number key this will go to the most recent window of an application if you have multiple of them open so remember i'm currently in that blank google chrome let me type in ice right here i c e google.com slash search q equals ice and rlz equals let me demonstrate this to you let's go to my desktop folder view list google chrome 6 of 27. remember that i have two google chrome windows open the one with ice that i was just in and the one that had in youtube from before remember that the keystroke control plus your windows key plus the number key will open the most recent window of that application so that would mean the one that you were last in so i was in the google chrome window with ice in it last so if i should use that keystroke control plus the windows key plus the number four which represents the position of google chrome ice dash google search dash google chrome dash the ice dash google search document awesome and there we go it opens the last google chrome window that i was in now on to the last keystroke shortcut number four control plus the number keys now this shortcut is used in your browser while in your browser if you have multiple tabs open control plus the number key will allow you to jump to that tab which has that number or position note that this only works for the first nine tabs that you have open so numbers one through nine so let me open chrome for instance taskbar toolbar address and search bar edit has auto complete control plus l address and search bar now let's type in facebook f c e b o k dot com unselected document busy blank facebook then i'm going to use control plus t to create a new tab new tab dash google here let's type in youtube y u t u b e youtube selected document busy blank youtube 
Clickable dialog. Banner landmark. Okay, then I'm gonna open one more new tab. New tab dash Google Chrome dash. Here I'm gonna type in Dropbox. D. Drop R O P P B O X. Dropbox selected. Document busy blank. Files dash Dropbox. Now, Dropbox is the third tab that I created, so its position would be number 3. But what if I wanted to navigate over to the tab with Facebook? Remember that Facebook was the first tab that we created. So in order to go to that tab, I would press Ctrl plus 1. Left paren, 20 plus right paren, Facebook document. Visited link Facebook. And there we go, we're on Facebook. And if I wanted to go back to Dropbox, which was the third tab we created, I would press Ctrl plus 3. Files dash Dropbox doc. Nice. And YouTube was the second tab that we created. So if I should press Ctrl plus 2. YouTube dash Google Chrome dash the. And there we go. This is a much faster method to navigate between your tabs, especially if you have a lot of them open. This is much faster than using the control tab to go through each tab until you get to the one that you want. Well guys, that is it for this video. That's it for today's quick tips. Hopefully it will be very helpful to you. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Remember to like, subscribe if you're new, share the video with others. And my email will be down below in the description if you want to get in contact with me. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.